Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Alma Linux 9.5 on VirtualBox. Go to Alma Linux official website that is almalinux.org. Click on download or click on download. Both are same. So click on download. See here we have the Alma Linux OS 9 and Alma Linux OS 8. So this is the latest one. In Alma Linux OS 9 also we have DVD ISO, boot ISO, minimal ISO. I am going with Alma Linux OS 9.5 DVD ISO. Also see here we have the options download ISOs from mirrors, download torrent file. Okay. So just click on this Alma Linux OS 9.5 DVD ISO. Click on it. No need to register. It automatically starts the download. See, download has been started. Go to downloads. See here, so size is 10.6 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded Alma Linux 9.5 DVD ISO. See here, I have already downloaded. Okay. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VirtualBox. If you want to install VirtualBox on your machine, then go through this video description and install it. See, I have already installed Oracle VirtualBox. Click on it. See, these are the two virtual machines on VirtualBox. To set up or install new virtual machine for Alma Linux OS 9, we have to click on this new or machine and select new. Both are same. Then provide the name. Then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folders. See by default it, by default it is going to store in this folder. If you want some other location then cl click on this drop down and select other. Then select the path where you have the enough space. Select the folder then ISO image. So, we have to select the downloaded ISO image. Click on this drop down, select other, then select the downloaded ISO file. Click on open. See, once we selected ISO, it has selected type as Linux and sub type as Red Hat. See, why? Because we don't have the Alma Linux. So, Alma Linux, Iraqi Linux are of Red Hat family type. So, it has selected Red Hat and version. Red Hat 64 bit. Okay. Then select this skip unattended installation. Why? Because if we don't select the checkbox, it will install automatically without manual inputs. Then click on hardware. See by default it has selected base memory as 2 gigabytes. I want to go with 4 gigabytes number of CPU processes. I am going with 2. Then hard disk. I want to go with 100 gigabytes. If you are working with all these settings, then click on finish or if you want to modify any one of them, you have to click on these sections, okay. Review one more time and click on finish. See, still we can edit the settings. Just select here and click on settings. Here we can edit or right click on it and select the settings, okay. Or machine and settings, all three options are same. If you are working with all these settings, then click on the start button or right click start and normal all options are same. So click on start to start the installation of Alma Linux OS 9.5 on virtual box. Click on it. Use up and down arrows and select the first option that is install Alma Linux 9.5 and hit enter. Select language and click on continue. I am going with English. See here the begin installation has been grayed out. Why? Because the options or items that are marked with red color must be filled. Okay. So we have to select installation destination, root account, password and optionally create the user. Okay. So I am going to select the installation destination. I am okay with the default one. So click on done. Then select the root password and provide the password. Then click on done. 
see now we are able to click on begin installation now create user provide user full name select this make this user as administrator then provide the password then click on done click on software selection i am going with server with gui but we have the options like server minimal install workstation custom operating system and virtualization host okay i am going with server with gui if you are okay with all the settings then click on begin installation click on it see installation has been started this may take time i am pausing this video i will resume at the end it will ask us to reboot the system then we will perform the post installation steps okay See, installation has been completed. Click on Reboot System. Click on Username and provide the password. Now, thanks. Now, open Terminal. Now, verify the version of the Alma Linux that we have installed. More slash etc os hyphen release. Hit enter. See, we have installed Alma Linux 9, Alma Linux OS 9.5. Now, the first step after connecting to Alma Linux OS is we have to update the packages. sudo dnf update and sudo dnf upgrade. Hit enter. Provide the password. See, it is going to install 4 packages and upgrading 10 packages. Type and hit enter. This may take time. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Alma Linux OS 9.5 on VirtualBox. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.